Hey guys, welcome back to the Wad Doc Project 365, episode 15. So uh, what we're going to talk about today is is recently I've been having this this rash of wrist injuries coming into the office, and uh, if looking at the history, a lot of them are the same. They either have high rep um, high rep mid range weight uh, cleans in them, or they're some type of walking lunge or something in the front rack position. And breaking down their biomechanics, what I tend to see. Uh, them lacking is pronation of the wrist in the ra in the rack position. So even if they start out in a good rack position where they have a fully pronated wrist um, with fatigue, it starts to come at a 90 degree angle. So let's just break down a couple terms real real quick, just so we're all on the same page. Uh, if we're looking at the wrist, this would be flexion, this would be extension, and then we have these rolling movements, and this would be supination and this would be pronation. So what I tend to see people lack is pronation when the wrist is extended, okay? Now, so what we're gonna do here is when we tend to, when we tend to initially look at these, these guys, we evaluate it with a, with a neutral wrist and people will be able to hide the fact that they're actually lacking some of this pronation ability because if I ask them to do the same thing by first extending their wrist, they end up here. So you can see how that would now translate to that front rack position and now we're starting to get a crunching factor on the inside of this wrist and they come to me with a wrist injury. So today we're going to do two things. We're going to come on over here and we're going to do a little wrist smash with, uh, with just a bar, an uh, empty bar, and we're going to be able to use the other hand, the one hand here, just to bring down we're, what we're basically trying to do is mobilize from here to here. And that's going to get all those flexors that get tight in this movement. So we get ourselves on the, on the board here. I'm sorry, on the, on the, the bar. And we're just going to work through here, do about 20 to 30 passes. I can assist myself with the other wrist. I can take up tension and do the same thing, really grind into that fascial pattern. Once I get about 30 passes or accumulate about two minutes, I'm going to come over and I'm going to do a mobilization that's a little bit different from the ones that you see. When we, uh, when we start here with the pipe, a lot of times when we have people come in, they're mobilizing their wrist, we'll have it either do at a straight wrist like such, or even at a bent wrist, uh, I'm sorry, a bent elbow, but the wrist is always in neutral position. So today, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to take the pole. We're going to step on it with our legs. We're going to start with our wrist flexed, okay? We're going to bring the pole into our chest, and then right when we get to where that fascial tension starts to, to build up there, use the other hand. I can bring myself back as far as I got. Use the other hand to really add to that, that pronation while, being, while the wrist is in flexed uh, position. If I need more, I just come down a half a grip, and I'm going to do the same thing. Come down a half a grip, do the same thing. I'm going to work in here, and then I'm going to retest that front rack position and see if that palm is now reaching more towards the sky. Because this is a good position. That, where my wrist is now at a 45 degree angle, is a bad position and that's what's causing that crunch. So we want to be able to get full pronation with an extended wrist. Guys, try that out, and until next time, we're optimizing function to optimize performance.